20. Okay. Um, my parents was against it and my grandparents. I am now 31 and I'm getting ready to go through a divorce. What's the disagreement though? Well, they said that we was too young and I went to college. I got a degree. Um, I just feel like I didn't have much experience. I was in love with my husband when we got married, but now I don't like him. What's the disagreement though? The disagreement, um, we just, I think we just grew apart. Okay. So, but you saying I, I that, that. Okay. I don't understand the point I make that you disagreed with. Oh, that, you know, all the eights and nines and tens are married. At the early age. The, okay. I did, okay. Nothing is absolute. Ladies, we got to stop this. Nothing is absolute. These are generalizations. That's true, Kevin. But, but, but are you saying you're an eight, nine, or a 10? I would consider myself a 10. I was a track star leader of the volleyball so you can kind of say i was the it girl in school but where's your um, picture what where's your picture oh i didn't want to show my picture <laughs> so that's I, I obvious find it, i find it okay <laughs> see the thing I, what i don't do often is like women can i've had women call themselves tens who were fives so uh, i mean opinion is opinion uh, is, no, is, is no, relevant uh, uh, no no see what we, look you can call yourself. Kevin, I like you. I okay, like but the Kevin thing a is, lot. hold on. But do, if you like me, then understand. Don't over look. If you can call yourself a ten, that's fine. I don't understand the disagreement. I really don't. You call yourself a ten, that's fine. You're 31 and getting a divorce because you don't like him. Yeah, I fell right? out of love with him. I think we just went to. Okay, but race. do you have any children? No, thank God. Uh, well, <laughs> and you've been with him since how old? since I was 18, but we got okay, married well, at 20. All right. And what do you think's waiting for you out here? Mm, new possibilities. That's one way to frame it. Um, you know, we can probably be the best of friends. I just think we outgrew each other. That's fine. You know? That's fine. He's, he's ready but, for kids. No. I'm not ready for kids. All right. Um, so I don't really see it's a, a disagreement here. Um, you want to divorce your husband because he wants kids and you don't want kids? That's fine. But for somebody who's been married for nearly half your life, um, do you want? What do you want from a man in this world? Well, a man of character, integrity, someone that I can grow with. What do I you just, want from a man in this world? Love. You have. I want, I want love. I want companion. You now have, you make it. You but have that. But you make it seem like people can't outgrow each other. Well, I mean, no, 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 man, no, 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 no. Stop right there. Stop right there. I didn't make it seem like a damn thing. I said you had that, and it's your responsibility as a wife to keep it going. And it's also a husband too. Uh, 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 uh. It is, see, that, thank you. Do you guys hear this? This is the problem that tends to happen in our relationships. It's 50-50 instead of 100. Did you do your 100% best to make sure that your marriage and your relationship lasted? Yes, my husband wanted me to stay home. I figured, like, since I went to school, I worked hard for my degree and my career. Why should I have to give it up, especially oh, when I don't have any kids? okay. Ah, so your husband wanted you to stay home, and so and you wanted to go to work. Yes. My so, father raised me to so Hold on. Listen, listen. Uh, excuse, listen. Then you're giving up a husband for possibilities in the world in your career. Okay. Hope you get what yeah. you want. My daddy told me I'd be just fine. My father of said that. A warmest... Well, here's the thing. You're, uh, how old is your father? My father is 60. Right. And uh, got news for you. Your dad cannot guarantee that. That's nothing a father can guarantee a child. Well, and, and I'm my dad, with you. And you can say your dad can uh, your dad can tell you whatever, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you're just a woman, just like I'm just a man. You're a one person out on the planet, 
And if you want to deal with any man out here, you're going to have to meet his needs, especially if you want a man that's higher level than you are. This independent street, this daddy's girl shit ain't going to play. Well, Kevin, I work. I'm a nurse. Congratulations. Um, that matters. I work, with a, but listen, I work with a lot of doctors. Actually. So what? But See, they, you, oh, you say that a man don't care about a woman's no, money or career. No, we don't. And that's no. far from okay, the truth, okay, though. Okay. But that's far from all the right, truth, All Kevin. right. So you're telling me. All right. Ladies, I want you to pay attention. This woman has been married. And she's telling me as a man who's out here who have clients of these men. You act like you at 31 know better than me at 51. And I'm telling you, men don't care like you think we care. But guess what? You're going to get a chance to test this out on your own. Remember the women I said high value men tend to avoid. And the nurse was in this category. It's not for just to take shots at nurses. It's the personality and the in the mindset that tends to come along, this independent da 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 da. All right, but in the end, man, make your choices. But at the end, if you want something with a man, you're going to have to compromise. All right, I agree with you, but you making it seem like that. You make it seem like so anything. Bad. Make it seem like what? You're just making it seem like, oh, you're so bad. You know, like especially for the young, you know women in my age group that's not married. You know, man, there's hope. Uh, yes, hope. I don't. Okay, you're responsible for what you hear, and you're responsible for what you put no, out. No, you're Kevin. responsible for what you hear, and you you make it seem like women are so. No, I think that a lot of you women just don't listen. You listen with your feelings, and you hear what you want to hear, and that's fine. But you're going to get to test all your theories. You got married at 18 or 19. No, I got married at 20. Okay. T- Split the difference. You're going to get to test all these theories. In 10 years, we'll see who ends up being closer to accurate. But if you want anything from men, do you ever want children? Um, I don't know. All right. So do you even want to... Do you want to be with a be married to a man? Well, of course I do. I believe Why? in love. I believe in but marriage. Ma- but that's not the purpose of marriage. Marriage is love is not the purpose of marriage. And you marriage already had is that. A partnership. All right. All right. All right. Round and round this goes. Oil petulant children. Just I want love. I want this. I want that. Women from other countries listen to Western women and think you're insane. This woman won early on and is walking away. All right. It's not hard.